up, people. I've been waiting to unbox this for a hot minute. I ordered it while I was in school in Texas, and it's been waiting on me. Hopefully there's no damage, because it's been sitting here for a good, probably damn near a month, um, just waiting to get unboxed. So here we are. This is the DVV2 um, 4-inch MQB. Hopefully my head is still on the screen. Evo down tight. Uh, it goes down to, I think, whatever, well, I think, I know, it goes down to whatever the stock uh, exhaust size is down the line somewhere. Kind of just like the uh, track slide big. And this will uh, just connect right on. Everything's V banded, real nice. But then the very end will be like a, one of them clamps, like the, where the OEM clamp is. So it makes it really simple. But I'm not going to be able to throw it on yet because I am actually going to go get it coated like the same, like heat coated, like Cerakote, like the same color as my wheels. And then I think uh, we're going to do something along the same lines with the intake too, but it's another uh, story for another vlog. So first things first, opening this up, that's some DVD too. I have to toss one of these on her M3 or something. I didn't think this would be in there. That's pretty cool. I run the shop that one, but we might have to switch it up for a little bit. Toss this on there. I like this. Yeah, that's nice. Thank you, Daniel. All right, let's get to the meat and potatoes. Lift this up a little bit. Boom. Okay. Hopefully I'm still working. Oh, boy. Okay. This is the... This is the reducer side. Oh, my God. Babe, look at that. Sheesh. That is nice. My daughter's sleeping, so I'm trying not to make a bunch of noise. Also, don't want to scratch anything. Also, don't want to get my greasy hands all over the place. I need to clean that before it gets coated. Oh my goodness. Look at that new band. Oh, almost wish I wasn't using my phone so I could stop and take a picture just right here. I got y'all on the tripod, but, uh, shoo, look at that. That is just beautiful. That is amazing. Whoever their welder is, shout out to them, because that is gorgeous. Very nice quality clamp. You can see how it kind of reduces and goes down so it'll fit onto the stock, whatever the stock size is. I'm not sure offhand, but shoo. I love this iPhone camera, I'll tell you what. Samsung boys could never. Oh, let's get to the, the real meat here. All right. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. <laughs> oh, God. It's heavier than what I thought. A thick girl. Oh my goodness. Break out the knife again. Beautiful piece. Holy guacamole. That is huge. Look at that. Fisting. Golly. I've always wanted one of these types. I've never had an exhaust that had this type of... Uh... Now I'm at a loss for words because this thing's so damn beautiful. My goodness. Just look at those welds. I hate to get it coated and not see it. Good lord. 
flex section. There we go. My brain cells are coming back. Wow. That is gorgeous. And then of course this will V bit this side will V band right to this side. Where this comes off the subframe, off your mount. And check out the weld there. Jeez Louise. This is quality. This is so beautiful. It's a shame that you won't really even see it. Whoops. My goodness. Let's set the other one up here. All right. Let's drool together again. God damn, it's so big. Everything is just so nice. Well, guys, there it is. If you were wondering on uh, what down pipe to get for your Evo 4, I don't think you can really beat this. And it's a great price, too. It really is. It's gorgeous. Man. Hook it up. Well, I don't know how much longer I can make this video. I was just uh, showing you guys some pipe. <laughs> but, uh, wow. And that's it. I'm going to... I'm going to take some pictures here, I'm going to post it to one of the local groups, and then see who is the go-to for coding. Hopefully, drop that off tomorrow, pick it up next week, and then, of course, this weekend's New Year's, so busy. Next weekend, I have guard, so busy, so it'll have to be the weekend after that. And then, what? That takes us to mid-January, and then we go to Disney, like, two weekends after that, and I got guard the weekend we get back, so... A lot of things going on. Then there's a big VIR event mid February. I'd like to try and go to, but I doubt it. I need to get my brakes done before then. I don't know. We'll see. But the racing line tune should be here tomorrow, so we'll be able to. There'll be another video on that coming out soon on the flashing process and the initial thoughts. I'll go out and do times, come home, flash, go back out, do times, and uh, and we'll probably toss this on what, a week or so later. And we can see if anything changed. Probably not a whole lot, maybe a little bit, because it won't. The tune won't be for the downpipe. It's just there. I'll get a nice check engine light. I do want to get a Fowler, like a D Fowler, what do they call it, like that O2 Faker thing. I have a couple of my screenshots. Um, actually, if you guys run a Catalyst downpipe and you have one of them Fowler things, let me know which one you run, because I have one. I think in my cart. Oh, I forget what it's called. If I remember, I'll write it down here. This is the one that I've heard is pretty good. But um, if you guys run one, let me know because I really don't want a check engine light. Who does? So it'd be nice to not have that. With the sounds, if you go to DBV2's um, Instagram or their Facebook page, the stock cat back with this downpipe, it sounds so good. You still you retain obviously your flaps and whatnot. I mean, the cold start, the idle, the quiet revs, the quiet driving, and then the, with the valves open and everything. It literally sounds like you don't even need to get a cap back. Like there's no point unless you want it to be really loud. But this alone takes care because I, I have like the little OPF or secondary two cat things like right right here on the stock one. It, it wise out to like two things and then you still have like a big cat up here. So there's a lot of sound being taken out on just the downpipe alone. And I, I don't have a resonator already. So um which we might actually wind up having to add one back in if there's too much drone or banner ass. But I might, wouldn't imagine with the seven speed that you would really experience much drone on the highway. I usually cruise at like, I don't know, 75 or so around here. I don't know, but well, we'll see. There'll be videos, lots of videos to make just talking about this and the sounds and the performance and, and all that and then the tuning and then the other couple parts I got. So lots of videos in the works. You guys just stay tuned. It's gonna be a real good year with this S3. Couldn't be more excited. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on flip flop.